Okay, my name's Alex and I'm um, happy to say I just passed um, the biomedicine exams for the NCC AOM uh, Diplomate of Acupuncture. I'm looking to, you know, you've got to pass three board exams, one's in um, Foundations of Oriental Medicine, one's in Point Location and Acupuncture, and the final one, the most difficult one, is actually in Biomedicine, one of the ones I had the most trouble with. So I'm going to give you a couple of um, cheat sheets, dump sheets, whatever you'd like to call them, ways to remember. I think um, there's so much information in biomedicine um, that seems randomly kind of disconnected. Uh, and there's, in the hundred questions that you get, there are just a couple of questions and you think, is it worth learning all these, this information um, for these couple of questions? But there's so much like that. So I really think you need to be confident. So I've got a few dump sheets that I did. Um, they're only so helpful for me actually in the final exam that I did, but um, I feel confidence is the key and understanding all the material and having a strategy to understand that and doing it is going to be the most important thing for you. So let's get into it. Let's do cranial nerves today. And let's start off by just writing that at the top. I mean, these are dumb sheets, so I mean, I really recommend that you write them out for five days. You can sometimes get them. I think seven days is a good time frame. You write them out every morning, yeah? And you can write them out a couple of times if you get stuck. Mnemonics, offensive oranges of Tibet, traded apples for Van Gogh's vague arthritic hippos, right? Vague arthritic hippos, vagus. You know, I should put here, this is number 10. Let's make sure we have enough room for that one. Let's just make, let's write the, the numbers out in Roman numerals. That's how we're gonna remember them. That's how they're presented in the exam. So seven and then eight and then nine, 10. I should move this across a little bit, right? 11, 12. Okay, so I write Vegas because I think 10 and I think 5 is a big one too. And the big ones there are trigeminal and Vegas. Probably the two main cranial nerves that people might even recognize. I start at the bottom. For some reason, you can start where you like. Just like H is for hypoglossal, below the tongue. That's also for tongue movement, we know, right? So A is the accessory. You know, this one... Um, is for shoulder. I can gonna, I'm gonna just go down and label and remember the names. I'm not even sure if you have to know the names, but sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. So it's always good to know it just before the exam, have the confidence, either to dump the information, or even if you write this out every day, you will be confident enough to remember it or have to write it out when you need to and there's a question for it, right? Okay, so um, G, think of gloss or gloss, O pharyngeal, right? The swallowing mechanism. V is vestibulocochlea, right? If you want, you can come up here to four because T is tricky. Don't get these confused. Trigeminal. Think of trochlea. Trochlea, cochlea. You could join those two together if you like, right? Um, abducens and facial, right? You know these O's? Well, it's easy to remember the function. You know the first one is smell, then vision, then eye movement, right? Then I would say, you know, you know four is also eye movement, but I just put here eye turning, slightly different, and six is eye turning. You have to know that three, four, and six are related. Yeah, so they're all involved in the eye. This is more lateral if you want to know about in that detail. Let's go back here. Smell, olfactory. Vision is the optic, the good old optic nerve, right? oculomotor for eye movement. Now we have the names, the numbers, um, just filling in the rest of the functions related. So facial, the most important thing remember here is the tongue and it is 
remember that it's the anterior two-thirds, right? And also facial expression. Oh, we jumped out of the trigeminal here. Think, I nose, think of the TMJ syndrome. I nose, um, tongue, and also remember that, uh, that you can put teeth here. But the jaw, TMJ, right? The big thing about trigeminal and vagus also, uh, oh, sorry, and the facial, is that trigeminal, I write it in red, stroke, facial, Bell's palsy. You know, when you've got a case and what cranial nerve is affected, that's a very common type of question you'll see, right? So vestibular cochlear, think, Hearing and balance, we know that one, right? Glossopharyngeal, think about, well, tasting, yes, and it is the posterior one-third of the tongue, but really it's about swallowing and gagging reflex, those kinds of things. The vagus, well, it's had a whole bunch of functions. I'm just going to put digestion and a URT, upper respiratory tract here. Shoulder and tongue movement. Okay, we've got all the functions. Now, thinking about... Are they motor or sensory? Well, there's another mnemonic for that. Doesn't take you long to remember. So sorry, Miss Manners, but my buddies say buying beer matters most. Sensory, sensory, motor, motor, both. Sensory and motor. Motor, both. Sensory and motor. And so on. Yeah? So sorry, Miss Manners, but my buddies say buying beer matters most right? Offensive oranges of Tibet traded apples for Van Gogh's vague arthritic hippos. It won't take you that long to remember them. You can remember them the week before the exam, just slam them out, man. Yeah. Okay, so also one of the things I sometimes just put a couple extra cleaves here, parasympathetic, right? As opposed to sympathetic. Parasympathetic functions, for which one, which one of these nerves are parasympathetic? You can just write them out. Three, I sometimes put a star next to them to visualize them. Seven, nine, ten, uh, whoa. yeah, that's right. Three, seven, nine, Roman numerals, right? Ten. Okay, another thing down here, not related to cranial nerves, but related to spinal nerves. I think this is important as well if you're doing the same exam as I am. And with spinal nerve reflexes, it'll say what, you know, for the reflex for the bicep, what uh, spinal nerve is involved. This similar relation to the dermatomes, not so much related to the cranial nerves, but related to the nervous system, right? So reflex, think about bicep, brachioradialis, I put BR, too big a word, tricep, patella, we go to the lower body, knee, right? And then the Achilles, classic. These are all the big bicep reflex tendon type of questions that we get. C5, C6, C7, L4, and S1. Once you know that, and you can just write that out at any time, just like I did then, um, you're just so much more confident in answering any of these questions and you're going to get, you know you're going to get 100% right. It was funny, the last test I did actually it didn't ask me so much about this, it actually asked me more the anatomy and physiology of, you know, an injury to which part of the body was affecting the cranial nerves, which kind of threw me. So, you know, there's so much to know in terms of this information, the name, the function, if it's sensory or motor, which ones are parasympathetic, where they actually exist in the cortex through the brainstem where they travel, you know, then think about the dermatomes, these are the key ones, there's, you know, just gives you an overall view, it summarizes that topic in one nice little neat package, and I just feel it gives you more confidence in the exam. So good luck.